Alright, let's go. Alright, three, two, one. Alright, alright. We go back, we've been doing this for a long time. She always helps me and comes through in the clutch for me when I'm doing my show. So without further ado, let's give it up for Miss Dee Dee from Black Pearl Entertainment. Thank you. We're gonna get right into it. I know you got a lot going on, you've been doing a lot. So first and foremost, let's kick it off. Tell us a little bit about Black Pearl Entertainment, how long you guys been around, what you what you how, all the things that you've done, because I know you've done a lot. Oh, okay. So I I manage talent. So, of all kinds. So, models, actors, singers, dancers. I got a bomb DJ. I have a few DJs and a couple of radio hosts. Absolutely, absolutely. And I decided to add everything so then we don't have to go anywhere and ask anybody for anything. You don't have to outsource anything. No, I can, yeah. You just, you just do it. Yes. DD says do it, it is done. That's Caterers, it. you name it, we got it. Exactly. And, wow. and travel agency. Travel agency. I just added a travel agency um, at the beginning of the month, and it's popping. So it should be called Black Pearl Global. That yes. Because she does it all. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. But, yes. uh, you know, so besides that, tell us a little bit about the foundation of the company. I know you and your husband kind of formulated and put it together. How long have you guys been doing this? I know you guys are very experienced. We've been doing it for a while. You know, you've oh. So. Then you're going to make me tell how old I am up here. I'm sorry. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I didn't say, say all that. Okay. You've so, been doing it for a long time. Long time. <laughs> and guess how old I am. You I should know better. I should know better. <laughs> so, how Black Pearl Entertainment started was um, my husband and a friend of ours, um, they used to go to the different clubs and give the records to see how the crowd would respond. And so the first was LaFace Records, the Brad, yeah. Outcast, yeah. John B, Absolutely. Usher. Mm -hmm. So they would send the albums, and it used to be vinyl, right. okay? Right. So they would send the albums, and then they Not would take it to the different Not clubs, <laughs> and then the, see what the crowd's response would be to it, and then they report back. Right. And so they did that for a while. And how I ended up in the business was there was a fashion show where well, the coordinator of the fashion show didn't show up. And my husband knows that I am every woman. <laughs> so he said, my wife can do it. And I thought, why are you just going to throw me in this? I don't know what this man did. But honestly, he didn't show up. So I ended up running the fashion show. And my husband's a high school basketball coach. And that's his first love. So he just kind of handed it over to me. And then I took the uh, business courses and all the classes in order to run the business. And at the time, if you were a black woman or Hispanic or whatever, you could go to college for free for those classes. So I took every class for free. Beautiful. Yes, I did. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. No doubt, no doubt. That is so beautiful. So um, other than that, I know you got some current stuff. We'll get into current events real quick. You just did a show. Just now. Yes, I did. Lenny Harrell. Hot up here. Killed it. I know it's hot. He killed it. He killed it. Hold, hold on. I'm sorry. There you go. But I got the church fan. You got DJ Middle Fingers, you got some gospel music? I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. So, so it was yeah. Lenny Harrell yeah, right. of Black Street. Right. And he tore it up. So, you know, the falsetto, like Prince has that falsetto? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. He got that falsetto. Okay. He did a uh, floor cheese, just say yes, and the ladies just start falling out on the ground. <laughs> Still got it. Oh my gosh, he has it. There. Yes. So I'm just curious, what happened to Black Street? Because they split up, right? No. No? No, they're still together. Are they really? They're still together. Yes. So then you need to hook me up because I need to bring all of them. Right. Um, and I got that hookup. Do you? Yes, yeah. I do. Yeah. Every woman Next right summer, here. Every 2016, woman. be ready. Mike Millie, Black Pearl Entertainment, Black Street. We bring in a whole old school of I ain't going to say who else we bring here. We added that to the roster. Add it, add it. Holla. Yes, I did. No doubt. So yeah. Um, other than that, you got some other things coming up. I know you've been doing casting calls for your fashion show and things right. like that. What do you have coming up right now? Okay. After that. So I just talked to Vincent, and he wants to do a casting call right here on the stage. Right. So.
So we're gonna do the next casting call here. Okay. And I work with uh, oh, about four different magazines. And so they want me to do casting calls for them as well. So I just always do everything with one shot because it makes no sense to do 50 things at one time. Exactly. Just put it all together and then the magazine can choose and I can choose. And then uh, Lenny Harold, he wanted to choose a model for his new video. Absolutely. And so uh, some of the artists that I manage need models for their videos as okay. well. And we like models that are uh, normal, like we eat, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we do have some size one, size two, but we have the thick girl, the 24, the 16, because when you have a fashion show and people want to buy clothes, they can't buy a size one if the, you know, the regular people can't fit that. So we have the short girls, the tall, the men, all of that. All shapes and sizes. All shapes and sizes. The world. weight of the world. The right. Well, I am so looking forward to that, and we'll talk a little bit more on that for sure. Because you're my host. Uh, absolutely. Mike Milley, hosting. Shout out to Mike. Hey. Shout out to Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I call him Pretty Boy Floyd. I like that too. I like <laughs> that too. I'm going to get a mic for that. <laughs> um, but, uh, but in any event, uh, I'm looking forward to some of the things you have coming up. Thanks for coming and blessing us today. Thank Dee, you. You are just, she, this is an amazing woman. Thank right? you. I have no idea how to Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Without further ado, we're supposed to be taking you out with some kind of music. DJ MF, you got something special for us? See? Oh, okay. Oh. It's supposed to get up. Thank you so much for coming out. No doubt. It's the Joy Spit It Up Jam. Y'all make sure y'all check us out every single week right here in the Mile High City Comcast.